Break the Silence is a uh, pretty obviously, you know, pointed outcry against corruption, um, specifically in our political system. You know, we live in a very divisive time, especially in the U.S., and um, the root of that divisiveness is our flawed system, and this is us speaking out against that system. You know, you can't change what you don't acknowledge, and this is us acknowledging it. This is us breaking the silence. This song is a rallying cry against corruption of power. My personal thoughts on this song are that uh, it's something that can really bring people together. Uh, the four of us in this band, we all have different political affiliations, but we can all agree that corruption in politics and in general, really, is just evil and it needs to be stopped. The political winds of people are starting to kind of open their eyes a little bit. Um, so opening that third eye uh, to kind of understand the, where the corruption is coming from. And this is not a right versus left issue. This is not Democrat versus Republican. It's very much the people and our rights uh, versus a corruption thereof. So that is the dichotomy that we're trying to bring people together to break the silence on. I think traditionally, lyrically, I go introspective uh, or I observational. And with this song, we really tackled an issue head on and it was very direct. So this was a departure for me lyrically. And at the end of the day, nothing changes if nothing changes. So we really want to inspire and be a part of the conversation to inspire people coming together about this issue. And that was us breaking the silence. So, you know, this is our way of just sort of taking a stand and, and you know, making our voices heard about something we truly believe is important. So the writing process for the song is a little bit different than what we're used to. Uh, usually I come to the band with a full song and uh, there'll be like little minor tweaks here or there and then that's it for the instrumentation. The Restless and the Mad was kind of the first time we tried to get away from that. It was a little bit of a departure and it led us to where we are today with Break the Silence where we were much more collaborative. Is that okay? That sound all right? Yeah, that all right. Okay. I'm doing those choruses single note on the bottom just because it's too muddy on the three strings to okay. chuck yeah. all of them. And then when we do any auxiliary type of guitars, mm -hmm. if we need the thickness, we can do it there. But otherwise, it just sounds like shit. Yeah. And we kind of all listened to the song after Paul kind of sent us the bones of the song. And uh, after we kind of all learned it and we brought it to practice, that very first time, the first night of practice that we played it uh, was instantly electric. So usually the way I write vocal parts is melodies usually come to me first and then I kind of work out lyrics later. Andy and I collaborated on the lyrics for this track, but the melodies, just as they tend to with, with a lot of the songs that I write, sort of just came to me um, as I was listening to the track that Paul brought to the band. Uh, I just started sort of humming the, the chorus melody and the hook and the pre-chorus and everything just sort of came together from there. All right, ready to do another one? Mm -hmm. Nice. I do remember when that pre-chorus, the pre-chorus was a very different iteration, different chord progression, um, and you had that vocal hook. Yeah. And that just kind of took on a life of its own, and we started jamming on the song, um, and it just kind of came together pretty organically. There'll come a day, your power will decay, and I fall and I can't you hear the war cry. I was remembering the song from the night before as best I could. I didn't have the MIDI file, and I was in the car, and I had imagined that the chord progression was a different thing. So I started humming this melody. And then 
we got to practice and we played it, I was like, oh no, that, that doesn't work. So you just made it up? So the melody, yeah, like in my <laughs> head, like that's where the song was nice. supposed to go. Yeah. So then we changed the song to, to meet with yeah. that because it was hooky enough that we all liked that. What drives me to write songs is emotion. This song in particular was driven by aggressiveness and anger. And I think it's pretty well felt uh, from start to finish. The aggression of the song, it spoke to me as being angry. It needed something to say. And I remember I was driving up to Boston by myself one time. And that's kind of when I, on that long drive, I, I started coming up with the concept uh, that became Break the Silence. Andy gave me his lyrical concepts that he came up with on a drive. I. I took a first crack at writing, um, gave them to him, and then he sort of tweaked and basically rewrote half the chorus and half the pre-chorus, and we just sort of co-wrote from there. Originally, it was my concept, and I really wanted to kind of hand that off to Mike, because traditionally he's the, he's the voice of the band, and, and see what he did, what he could do with the concept. Um, that's really the basis of the verses. I made a taste of boundless power can turn a man to an immoral coward A frail sheep in a wolf's clothing We all see it, your power's eroding I think that's, those are your sections yeah. in the verses and I, I really thought that it um, kind of spoke to the concept well I, I kind of took over the, the choruses um, can't remember pre-choruses I guess I think that was We were kind of half and half I yeah. think, yeah At the end of the day, co-written It was a new experience for me as well uh, writing some lyrics for this new Serravo single. I thought that was pretty cool. We really poured our hearts out into this song, our blood, sweat, and tears. We're really proud of how it came out, so make sure you go stream or download Break the Silence now. And I